Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include EU attaché plan will harm NATO, says defence expert. Luxembourg is not the next Cyprus, not yet, but... Welcome to the Fourth Reich. EU unveils plans to help migrant workers, plus UKIP landslide causes upset in Westminster. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the UNIT Nightly News. First up, from our homepage. A call to increase the number of EU military attaches around the world has been condemned as a threat to NATO. One defence expert called it more evidence of the EU's determination to form its own defence organisation. Which defence expert is this? The one that just got back from the ice planet Hoth? He or she should be paying more attention to the unit nightly news and would have seen the EU Defence Force in action. We ran two videos only a couple of weeks ago, one with a significant multi-tactical EU battle group and the other showing an EU platoon and two snipers putting it up the Somali pirates. Wake up and shut the gate! The horse bolted weeks ago! In fact, I think you'll find that you ate it in last week's minced beef and onion pie. Luxembourg, with a population of just over half a million, smaller even than the other speck in the Eurozone, the Republic of Cyprus, ranks in the top three worldwide in per capita GDP. In a Eurozone wealth survey, it had the highest average household wealth, €710,100. Only Cyprus, a former offshore banking centre in the Eurozone, came close. Yet Luxembourg is threatened with ruin. It has 141 banks, one bank per 3,808 people. Most of them do private banking. The financial sector added 38% to GDP in 2010 and contributed 30% to the country's tax revenues, according to the Luxembourg Bankers Association, ABBL. All of this due to bank secrecy and tax laws. But suddenly, after Cyprus had been massacred, Luxembourg buckled. The article goes on to explain how Luxembourg by agreeing to data sharing directives, has opened up its market from 2015, leaving it desperately exposed to potential financial ruin. Fear not, however, ladies and gents, whilst Spain is going to hell in a handcart and Luxembourg appears to be looking at a future fiscal train wreck, my prediction still stands. It will be Ireland next to implode and see wealth confiscation imposed on savers. Sorry. I mean unsecured creditors. They changed the terms of the contracts recently. He's back with a very controversial piece. Dr. Eric Edmund writes on the Fourth Reich. Now, forewarned is forearmed. This article really is for grown-ups only. And if you're the type to pull your underpants over your head and start screaming National Socialist at the first mention of German war history, then this article probably isn't for you. However, Eric makes some clear and valid points about the progression and structure of German anthropological history. I should say that Eric is not the only learned individual to propose the idea of a German Fourth Reich. See our ebook library in the resources section for a free downloadable ebook on this topic by Harry Beckoff. Whilst the debate rages in political circles, and indeed, even on question time, about the impending migratory flock of Romanians and Bulgarians to Britain, appointed ministers still seem to have their heads in a bucket. Or perhaps it's a trough. With tales of creating distinctions in the welfare system, Hansel and Gretel, well, Cameron and Clegg, skip gaily through the forest of the Ardennes, mysteriously believing that they still have some kind of authority to regulate in this area. Sorry, fellas. Go read up on the Maastricht and Consolidated Treaties. This article shows how the EU has plans to help migrant workers by supporting and improving their rights in other EU member states. <laughs> Perhaps Mrs May should stop eating those magic mushrooms from Von Rompuy's lunchbox and get a bloody grip! The county council elections of Thursday 2nd of May have upset many in the Westminster village, with almost 25% of the vote being won by the UK Independence Party. 
Politicians from both Labour and the Conservative Liberal Democrat coalition have had to take stock that their British public is very dissatisfied with their performance and in particular their leadership, or lack thereof, over the thorny question of Britain's EU membership. Now, in this article, David Charter analyses the issues pertaining to Britain's membership of the EU. The summary of key points makes very interesting reading. Today in our video library, as you know, we have written and produced a new documentary, Betrayed, which we have submitted to the Operation Paul Revere contest at Infowars.com. We thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the other videos that have been produced, and so through the month of May I will pick out a daily Operation Paul Revere contest entry and provide a link to it on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, you could really help us a great deal with our documentary and contest entry by subscribing to our channel, rating our film Betrayed, either like or dislike, but I'd prefer like, please, and most importantly, sharing it with as many people as you possibly can. So, without further ado, today's video, which I have added to our Operation Paul Revere YouTube playlist, is Government 2013 by Adam Rutter. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below.